Hey everyone, in this video I want to give you some tips on how to smoothen out the chamber switching on your triple ocarina. Let's get into it! Hey everyone, so in the last video I explained to you the important part of preparing your right hand on the second chamber or the last chamber on your triple ocarina. I hope you had some time practicing this and kind of get used to the feeling of bringing your hand to the second and the last chamber. In this video I want to give you some tips on how to improve the chamber switching itself. Okay, so let me start by talking about some of the mistakes that I see people do when they try to play the triple ocarina. Okay, the first one that I often see is that people when they play the triple ocarina, they have the tendency to kind of wobble their head and kind of move their head trying to align um, their mouth with the correct chamber that they want to play. Um, this is not a good technique and please try to not do this uh, because first of all, it's slow, it's, it's not efficient, like it's not an efficient way to move around. And second, um, it can be very inaccurate because when you're trying to move like this, it could mean that you're actually hitting the wrong chamber with the side of your mouth, which uh, creates a unclear sound or can even lead to like a squeaky second sound that comes from a different chamber. So I'll give you an example of how people sometimes play. I'm now kind of exaggerating it, but when you're moving your head, that's not a good technique. The second one that I often see is the opposite. People are trying to move the ocarina in a horizontal way. So trying to line the ocarina up like this, which is also not a good technique because um, this once again is slow and second, it is very inaccurate when you're trying to move and you're going to have the same issue that you're probably going to blow into two uh, separate chambers instead of one. Another issue with this technique is that when you try to slide the ocarina like this, it's probably gonna hurt your lips because it, it's rough. It, it means that you're putting a lot of tension on your lips and uh, you're moving left to right, which means you will hurt your lips eventually. So then now, how do you avoid all these things? It's actually a very simple thing. Um, rather than sliding the ocarina or moving your head, you just simply tilt the ocarina like this. It's all in the wrist. If you move your hands like this, kind of like a steering wheel, it makes the switching way faster, smoother and more accurate. So it's not a huge movement, it's just a simple movement like this. So when you play the first chamber, you kind of angle it like this and you blow into the first chamber. When you go to the second chamber, you kind of simply do it like this and you kind of bring the ocarina in a horizontal line with your mouth. And then for the last chamber, again, you move it slightly like this and you angle the mouthpiece in this position. It's a very minimal movement. It's just like this, just simply like this, which means that because it's such a small movement, it makes it a lot faster and it doesn't put pressure on your lips. So to say it simple, just try to keep it to wrist movements and figure out how to play the triple like this. Of course, please keep in mind, depending on what model you have, the mouthpiece will change depending on how wide or how short it is. So you have to kind of adjust yourself depending on the ocarina. However, in general, uh, this technique is much more efficient than any of the head movement or the, this, this type of movement. 
um, just doing this is way much easier and faster. Another point that I want to bring up is that many people, when they play the Triple Lock Arena, um, put way too much pressure on their lips. Uh, especially for people that are used to playing the single lock arena, they usually have this very tight uh, mouth position, kind of like this. <laughs> and this is fine for a single lock arena because you're not moving around and it, it, it doesn't affect much. However, when you're doing this with a triple lock arena and you're trying to quickly change uh, chambers, that's putting way too much pressure on your lips which first of all means, um, again, you're slowing down, you're putting resistance there, which you don't want. And second of all, it's actually painful. Um, even when I started, I used to kind of have that issue and sometimes I kind of scrape my lips. Uh, but I quickly figured out that if I relax, it made everything way easier and way faster and smoother. So when you play, relax your lips kind of like this no tension and just smoothly move the mouthpiece in your mouth and don't put any pressure there. Okay, so these are kind of, you know, very simple tips. Move the ocarina like this, relax your lips and don't put pressure. But these tips can make a big difference if you're trying to learn how to play the triple. So yeah, I hope they help and well, see you in the next video. Keep practicing and see you soon. Take care.